Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the second video on the channel. Um, I've always wanted a Turner Expander 500 uh, base mic and recently one came up on eBay and I managed to get it for 25 quid which was really good price. Um, unfortunately uh, it arrived yesterday in carrier bags and when I opened it up as you can see it was smashed to bits in the post. Um, the lugs here fit in here are broke, all the boards hanging out, the key knackered. The seller was really apologetic. Um, I was decided, but you know, I'll probably keep it. And I said, Oh, you know, I, I would expect a bit back, obviously, as it had been smashed up. And he, as I say, the guy was brilliant, he practically refunded me all my money. So I ended up with getting this for about four quid. Um, now. I don't know if this is going to work. Um, it's, it's had quite a hectic journey. Um, you can see from here the lug there that fits up on here snapped off. This one here snapped off. The one at the back snapped. Um, yeah, it's going to be quite a, a sort of restoration job. So I'm going to have a go at restoring it. If I haven't, if I can't do it, I haven't lost anything. I'll just bin it or put it on for. For spares for someone but um, I'd like to get it going so I've always wanted one so <clears throat> anyway I've one thing I've done already um, just off camera is the little um, display with the meter in you can see there's glue running all the way down the edge here I peeled this bit of glue off because it wasn't stuck and was moving I've used a bit of super glue and I've super glued that on now so the meter bit is at least held in um, so anyway, let's get into this and uh, we'll see what, <laughs> how far we can get with it. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is the wires here to the uh, the meter. Um, that one's hanging on by about two strands and that one's got a lump of God knows what on there. So I'm going to redo those terminals first and then we'll take some of this screening off. We'll have a look at the printed circuit board and see what we've got on there as well. Um, so right, let me get the soldering iron fired up. And I'll quickly retin these, get these good, and we'll redo those connections. I've just got that one off. That is an absolute crap connection. I'll get some solder braid on there, and uh, we'll see if I can de-wick. Some of that solder. I think there's old bits of wire and God knows what on there at the moment. Um, yeah, there is. Let's clean that up a bit. Right. Okay, let me uh, trim the wires. And we'll get these uh, looking better than they do now. Looking at this wire here, when I've cut it to redo the connection here, I'm going to have to take this wire off um, and lengthen it because it's not quite long enough. Um, so if we take some of this shielding off, oh, hang on, the camera's falling over. Right, and then lift that up. And then here's the wire, it just runs to a terminal here, so I can make that a tiny bit longer. It give me a bit more room um, to work, but there's, there's several capacitors. There's one here, one there, one there, one there, and three there. Um, so I will, um, as part of this exercise, I think I will desolder those and replace those as well, because it's, you know, while I'm in here, I might as well replace the capacitors um, and then see how we go from there. So. Let me desolder this and I'll find another piece of wire. Okay, so I've soldered a new length of wire on here, as you can see compared to that little shard of wire that was there. I've gone 24 American wire gauge. Um, that's what I always work with on these sort of things. So, so that's about the length we want to go. So I'll probably go up to where it's sitting on the clip just to give me a tiny bit more bit more wire. Doesn't matter, it's only going to the signal meter, so snip that there then we've got enough wire so right I'll trim that and tin it 
solder that on there and then this one can go back on there so if you open it up and it's on the and you haven't got any wires ever on your meter the positive goes to the right hand side here with the meter upside down and the blue which is the negative goes to the left hand side okay right let's get this positive wire back on I'll solder him with a camera right in your face, but hey ho. We'll give it a go. I can get to the right angle. There we go. That's one. Nice tug test. And then do the same again. Oh, there's a bit of wire on there. Hang on, I need to clean that terminal up a bit. Right, let's do the the other one. Um, and then we know we've got some decent solder joints on there for moving forward. But this is at a bit of a weird angle, really. Oh, I'm not happy with that. Oh, let's do the tug test. Actually, looking down below, down here, I think I'm going to redo the blue one here as well because that doesn't look a very good joint as well. Um, I'm hoping I've got, yeah, I've got, definitely got enough wire, but I'm going to redo that joint as well because there's a few strands holding that as well. Um, you know, I'm wondering whether to actually replace this entire length of wire again as well, but no, I'll, I'll just trim it and we'll do it again. Well, looking at it, I thought if you're going to do it, do it properly. So I've replaced the wire the blue wire that was there with a the black wire so I've got positive that side negative that side readily identifiable it, well, identifiable get me teeth in and longer wires so I now know both connections here and here redone and all good okay so um, let's see where we're going to move on to next so while we've got the soldering iron on we've got this capacitor here that goes onto this white wire here that's snapped off but the connections for this white wire are absolute pants um, hang on a moment where's my little pointer thing on aha that'll do so this white wire here is just hanging on by a few strands of wire you've got this black wire here hanging on with a few strands of wire the red one here that connection's okay and the yellow one looks okay I think I'm going to redo all these um, just so I know I've got good connections. So I'll put up a couple of steels to show you why I'm looking at those, and you can see those from. There. Right, as you can see from the photos I've just flashed up, this capacitor's been knocked off of this white area here. Um, this wire here is hanging on by a couple of strands and this black wire here is about to break off the red wire is nicely soldered and the yellow wire looks okay but again I'm going to redo all of these connections just again so I know they're good but plus the white one and the black one are about to break off anyway um, and then obviously that could cause me problems with the microphone if it, if it works we don't know yet um, obviously running down to the uh, the lead we also need to have a look inside the end of here um, and see what's going on in there as well but that's another day right well I was um, going to do these connections in the corner um, until this cable caught my eye see what's written on the cable Yeah, so as you can see, it's computer cable. It's not actually any good for what we want. I then decided to have a look at the end of the pin and look what I discovered there. So as you can see, this cable's no good. However, searching through my bags of bits, I remembered in the past had actually brought a radio rally a cable 
complete new microphone cable. So I'm going to put that on because this should actually have coming out the back of it this diameter cable, not this thick cable it's got here. So that's probably also probably not helping with the case shutting. So when I do get the screws and things and try to pull this case shut, it'll actually come down further than what it does potentially at the moment. So that should help. So I'm going to fit this with a brand new plug as well. So I've got brand new cable, brand new solder connections there. And the other thing which I couldn't believe this when I looked at it, this has got black, white, red, yellow and braid. And this has got black, white, red, yellow and braid. So it's even got the same connection. So I can just solder on to the existing connections. Spot on. Right, let me get this on the go. Right, so we've got the computer cable off. The microphone plug end is just a mess. And this end's not much better either. I mean, you've got lumps of God knows what on the cable. Um, so yeah, um, I've also taken the opportunity this was actually on the cable here that goes in the back of the case so i've cleaned that up and um got all the blue tack off it god knows what blue tack was doing on it but that'll run through the nice uh, new cable it should look good so next thing to do is solder the new wires in here i'm gonna have to have a look at this because i'm not really sure what he's done there or whoever's done this before um, I'm not too happy with that wire because look, it's got all broken strands. Hang on, I'll zoom in a bit. I'm actually a little confused by this. This is plastic. This is plastic. Yet you've got this, which then runs up here. It goes into the shielding wire, which then seems to run up to the head. I'm not quite sure why you would connect to there, unless it is some sort of shielding, but it seems a bit odd and this isn't the right wire anyway so I think I may replace that as well but I need to look on the circuit diagram and see exactly what that is because why that's gone onto the shield in there I don't know and then we've got more blue tack in here where that's been going through so we need to have a look in there and clear that out right just bear with me more D tacking of blue tack right I had some posts today um, what I did obviously that lug there snapped off with the screw here that goes into it and it fitted on there and that was what holds the base to this part so I measured this distance here and I was looking for some way of doing it I thought about just gluing it but then I'm thinking it'll snap again so what I did is I purchased these things so you've got a threaded nut which a screw can go inside there and then you've got a bit of thread on there and as you can see here I just simply took that, took the threaded section here and screwed that into there and that's gone in there really well. So all I've got to do now is get a screw to go through this hole and that hole will mount the screw straight through there, straight into there and it should lock it down. So I have moved this from plastic now to metal um, but my options are very limited. Um, Plus, the previous uh, post anyway, had a metal insert inside the plastic with um, thread in it. So you can see that brass insert in there anyway. So it's only a tiny bit more brass, so it should hopefully be all right. But these things are really good. Um, I'll put a little post at the end as to what I brought. So if you do snap any of your lugs off on here, the two front ones you will use this size. I'll have to work out what the back ones are because the back one, um, as you can see on this tray here, is a lot taller than the little ones at the front um, because obviously the tray, oh, hang on. Uh, the tray, you can see here, it's shallower at this end than it is at this end, hence you have a higher mounting point here. So there should be uh, the same things available, because obviously I've got that one, but it's nowhere near tall enough. So I'll need to get a slightly bigger size of this and put it in there, and then I'll have the two for the front and the one at the back, and then in theory, it should all be held on again. So that side of it with the lug snapping off, 
I've managed to overcome and I, I think because I've th I've actually threaded this in and it's cut thread into the plastic it should be a lot stronger than gluing it and holding it in but what I will do is when I put the screw in here and do the base up I'm just going to nip it up because the base doesn't need holding on because the weight of the thing's going to be sitting on it but providing it clamps the base together and holds it together that should be perfectly fine and then I'll just be careful with it when I'm moving it about but it will sit in front of the radio and I won't use it so anyway Enough yakking, let's get on with this.